Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are making rakhis. So since the festival of rakhi is coming along just just around the corner, this time I thought that I'm going to show you how I'm going to make eco-friendly rakhis because I have been doing that for the past 2 years since the lockdown started so the very first time that I made them they turned out really really good. So I thought why not share that with you guys as well. So I'm going to be making three types of different rakhis. So the first kind of rakhi that I'll be making is a living rakhi. Huh? Now you might be wondering what is a living rakhi? So what it means is that I will be putting something that I can grow. So I won't tell you right now. I'll show you what it is. The other two rakhis that I am going to be making is one is eco-friendly and the other one is an edible rakhi because who does not want to eat? So let's get started with rakhi making and i hope you enjoy the video please like share and subscribe let's get started with our rakhi everything i have today is all of these i have these wafer daisies which you can get at any store uh, these are just the i think they are available in india as well dr otkar so i have these flower there are these wafer flowers i got some chocolate biscuits to keep as a base and then make something on top of them some decoration stuff like M&M &M minis and fruits like pineapple apples strawberries figs uh, i also got these they're actually coasters but i think i'm going to use them as a base it'll be less messy and then i'm going to use this ribbon as the rakhi i was actually thinking of sour punks you can use sour punks if you have them they also work to make the base of the rakhi cut the size of the ribbon according to how long you want it to be then with the right side facing towards you place the coaster on top and secure it on both the sides with staple pins here i'm just using a general sugar syrup uh this is just made out of three ingredients so it has sugar water and corn flour i've used corn flour because i don't want my sugar syrup hardening while i'm making all the other rakhis here i'm just generously going to place it on the base and on the corners because i plan to put to decorate the corners of the coaster as well here i am decorating it with some grated coconut In the center I'm going to place some pomegranate seeds. Now because of the sugar syrup they're going to stick to the bottom but if you want to reinforce it and make it stronger you can also place a layer of sugar syrup on top of the seeds. After that I have placed three tulsi leaves in the center. and then on top of that decorate it with a wafer flower and a small m&m and the first rakhi is done so let's move on to the second one this rakhi is made of flowers so these are some flowers that i borrowed from our neighbor since they had a birthday in their house and they had a lot of bouquets lying around i went and got a few flowers that i could use to make this rakhi Here I have stapled on the white flowers and then on top of that stuck the yellow ones with glue. The same thing I've done for the rose as well. And in the center of the rose I'm going to place a small flower. And like that our second rakhi is also done. Moving on to the third rakhi, here the base is the same. I've placed a little bit of sugar syrup at the bottom and I'm sticking cocoa pops or any other kind of cereal that you want to stick this is a version of our chocolate rakhi in the center i'm going to put a small drop of the sugar syrup and on top of that stick the white ferro rocher these are the coconut flavored ones i'm placing drops of the sugar syrup on each corner of the coaster On top of this I'm going to stick some small M&Ms to give it a colorful look.
And like that, our third Rocky is also done. Moving on to Rocky number four. So here I have taken again the same thing, same base, and I'm sticking some decorative feathers that I had lying around in the house. This you can stick on with any normal glue. Again, I'm sticking on top of this a flower that I received from one of the bouquets. Now this is the living Rocky. So why it's called a living Rocky is because I've made two versions of this. So the first one is where I'm going to place some tulsi seeds in the center so that later you can plant them and you can grow them. I did this last year so I'll show you the growth of my plant as well. The second alternative is here I've taken some moong dal wrapped in moist tissue. So we have to make sure that the tissue remains moist so that the dal can sprout and turn into bean sprouts. This is a very healthy breakfast recipe as well. So this is what I'm going to place in the center. Now this you can cover with a plastic wrap as well if you want it to stay in place. And the side I'm just going to decorate it with some more flowers. And like this, four rakis are done. Also stay tuned for the next vlog which will be how we celebrated the Rakhi festival as well. In that I will also show you the sweets that we make for Rakhi. So as a tradition everyone makes sevia or uh, Heer. So we will be making sevia. So in the next vlog I will show you how I made that and also how we celebrate it. So stay tuned for that as well.